Movements and the Movement Code, bringing you your Movement Mondays. Today's topic and question, what does it mean to have an overactive muscle or chronic tension? So we are going to throw out some of just the main buzzwordy terms or muscle groups that commonly get uh, blamed for being overactive. And as I say this, many of you are probably guessing or thinking about your own body. We're looking like pecs, traps, maybe it's your lower back, maybe it's your hip flexors. And some would argue that this, these are these patterns as related to like upper cross syndrome or lower cross syndrome, which ties into this. But ultimately, what we're trying to depict and articulate here is looking at why overactive. Commonly, patients just get told, well, the reason why you're in pain is because your traps are overactive. They're just really tight. And yes, they would be very painful if they're always just tight and there's a lot of tension, right? But understanding why that is the case will help you get through this rather than just blaming these and trying to smash and roll them out. What's to say that, it's not, that tension's not gonna come back by you simply releasing it or massaging or whatever that is. And not that that's not bad, but it's understanding and taking this a step further to better realize what you need to do, right? So in the case for the traps, we're bringing on the traps, we're picking on the traps because the traps get picked on a lot. Perhaps that overactive tension that you're generating could be from chronic stress, right? When people say, I carry my stress in your shoulders, I, there is some validity to that. They're chronically stressed and they're holding themselves up like this and they don't know how to release that. So the fix is not a massage, ultimately, because they're just going back, maybe it's working on some meditation, some breath work, right? We're not saying that that is just a simple fix, but we're trying to just basically paint out a picture of having you dive in a little bit deeper to understand where you're at and why these things might be causing. So for overactive traps, when we're talking about shoulder pain, those often get blamed for a movement dysfunction, and that's why they're doing it, because they're taking on more load and they're trying to do the work that they typically would have support from, from either the middle traps, the lower traps, the serratus anterior, whatever that might be, right? So if we're talking about like an overhead type of motion, if, it's, if I'm super upper trap dominant and I'm, and I'm getting a lot of tension up in there, there might be a movement dysfunction that's causing the traps to want to take over and power over and then just creating this like negative feedback loop, more tension and more tension and more tension because you're repeating that same action over and over. So sometimes working on the movement mechanics of the area and the movements that you're doing on a consistent basis might help you simply reduce this overactive muscle or this chronic tension that you're developing as a result of that. So again, we're not, we're not getting able to diagnose what it is for you because it's, it's you and your body and, and we need to look at and we need to map out and we need to try to figure out what these things might be happening on a consistent basis for you. That will tell you why this is overactive. Simply going and getting massage, smashing it out on your own, although it will help and it will feel good, might not give you the total relief that you're ultimately looking for. You need someone to diagnose or figure out, diagnose, doesn't have to be like, this is wrong, this tissue is bad. The diagnosis might be, you don't move enough, you're stressed, you don't move well, whatever that might be, you need to dive in and figure out why these things are overactive to begin with. And, and there's ways to do that. Find, find a local clinician, a uh, good sports PT, a good sports chiro, whatever that might be near you. Oftentimes, um, uh, massage therapists are well trained in this. But it's, you can't just simply just say this is to blame and that you need to attack this to fix it. There's a reason. Figure out what the reason is. And if you have any questions, shoot us a message. We'd be happy to, to kind of workshop what you might be going on for you and give you some cues or some ideas that might help. So um, if, you're, if, if you yourself have been told you have overactive muscles and it's not working, you know, you need to watch this. You need to reach out to someone or you need to reach out to us. If you got a buddy, who keeps talking about their overactive traps and that's what's causing their shoulder pain or their overactive pecs or their overactive hip flexors, you need to share this video with them, okay? Uh, we appreciate the love and that you guys sharing us, tagging us in your videos if you're working on these things, um, add enhanced movements, and uh, yeah, thank you. See you next Monday.